Joining me now here in Washington, conservative attorney George Conway. He's a contributor to The Atlantic and co-host of the podcast, George Conway Explains It All. And with us from New York, MSNBC legal analyst Lisa Rubin, who has covered the Eugene Carroll case very closely. So, George, let me start with you, because you have a small but important role here. You connected... E. Jean Carroll with Robbie Kaplan. There's an email to prove it yes. um, that you put out. So you played a role in this as yes. well. Um, and this Little. morning, oh, well, it's an important one. It's an important one. There's the email. Um, this morning, they did a number of interviews, and I want to play something that uh, Robbie Kaplan said this morning. All options are on the table. What does that mean? If we have to bring another case, we'll bring another case. You're just going to be more money. So you know her well. You followed. You know we've watched Cl Trump very closely. Absolutely. What is she watching for exactly? And do you think Trump will be able to control himself? The answer is she's watching for future defamation, and the answer is he can't control himself. It is exactly what Judge Kaplan said in open court just last week, uh, or the week before. You can't control yourself, can you? He so said that to Donald Trump, and he can't control himself. He's and if he uses her name. If he uses her name and says something that's, that's defamatory, accuses her of lying again, says the allegation of rape is false, even though it has been proven to the satisfaction of a unanimous jury and to the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York, if he does that again, she should sue him again and she should get more damages. And, you know, this, this process can continue ad infinitum. And I don't think he can not control himself. He is not well. He is an unwell person. He's a narcissistic sociopath. He cannot help himself. It's not just that he is showing signs of dementia that Nikki Haley is pointing out. He is a, he's a, he is a, a personality disorder that has followed him throughout his life. And he cannot help himself. And that's the reason why, part of the reason why he did get hit with this $88.3 million judgment. He was defaming her. Yes. All night, every night during the trial, outside the courthouse. And knowing he had to have known full well that that was going to ramp up the damages. Because the question of punitive damages is, is the person doing it maliciously? And what is it going to take to get this man to stop? And he's basically saying, uh, nah, 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 I'm just going to do it. He's saying, I right. don't care. It, 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 is, it is an unwell person who attacks right. a woman unwell. you sexually assaulted and, and, and then acts to out in front of the jury. It's so, Lisa, let me let's let's talk about the money here, because that is sort of one of the big questions. I mean, obviously, eighty eight point three million dollars, huge amount of money. We're all awaiting the judgment in the civil fraud case, which could be an even much larger amount of money. Does Donald Trump has that, that kind of amount of money on hand that he needs to pay this? And what happens if he doesn't? I don't think many of us take Donald Trump's representations in that deposition you just played a clip of, Jen, at face value. So if you ask Donald Trump, as recently as April of 2023, when he was deposed by the New York Attorney General's office, he said he had over $400 million cash on hand. However, if the Attorney General's office is able to get a disgorgement award, meaning clawing back the ill-gotten gains from his fraud scheme of even close to the $370 million that they're asking for, that plus the $88.3 million he currently owes E. Jean Carroll would wipe out that liquidity even if we thought that that's how much cash he has. I think in reality, the amount of cash Donald Trump has on hand is much lower than that. And that is why, in the past few days, while he is towing up to the line, we have not yet seen him engage in conduct that either George or I would call defamatory. I'd call it provocative, and I'd call it almost there, but we're not quite there yet. All he has done so far, and I don't want to excuse it, is republish other people's defamatory mm. words about E. Jean Carroll. And so far, what he has done is not what the law would consider its own defamation. It is like a weird version of yeah. self-control. Like it's all relative. I did want to ask you, I mean, watching this before the last couple of days, I mean, Robbie Kaplan clearly got under his skin. Um, and all of this clearly got under his skin. You've, what, do you, what do you think that should tell us about Trump and how to kind of run against Trump, what is going to bother Trump, et cetera? I've said this for quite some time. I'm going to say it again. Make him crazy. He's already crazy. If you point out the things that he, the reason why he is the way he is, the reason why he is this uh, uh, pathological narcissist is because he's deeply insecure. Mm. He knows 
that he's a fraud. He knows he's not as smart as he says he is. He knows he's not as good as he says he is. He knows he's a rapist. He knows he's a liar. He knows he doesn't want to be exposed. And if you attack him on the things that he feels sensitive about with the truth, he melts. And he's exactly as you say. I mean, he's a bully, but he's a weak man. Yes. He's a weak, he's, you know, he, he puts up this strong man act at the trial in front of the jury. And, he didn't actually show up for the first trial, the one where he could have been cross-examined about what happened in that department store, because he's scared. The emperor has no clothes. Absolutely, Just it was a terrible image, but I, <laughs> we can't, people can't unsee that. <laughs> but but I mean, it was you know. uh, it was something Eugene Carroll said that I thought was just really yeah. powerful. George Conway, Lisa Rubin, thank you so much both for joining me this evening.